Hi, Griffins. Happy Monday. Mrs. Cortez here with your Monday assignment. I am going to be going over some information in this video that you will then answer a few questions about. So stay tuned as we talk about our reading program at SMCA. This year, as we do virtual learning, it is going to look a little different. So we want to make sure that we go over the different uh, expectations and procedures for doing reading at Stella during distance learning. Um, for those of you that are new to our school, we do have a reading requirement of eight independent novels. And for those of you returning, you're well aware of this. Uh, so we just want to go through the differences for this school year. In your weekly schedule, you will notice that we have put in independent reading time each and every day. So today on Monday, after this Monday assignment, you'll notice that you need to do some independent reading. And the same goes for Tuesday through Friday in the afternoon. You are to do your independent reading each and every day for at least 30 minutes. We do have some scholars that actually already got a head start on this and did reading this summer. So I wanted to spend some time acknowledging those that took book tests this summer and already earned some of this credit. So in first up with one book, we have seventh graders Zara Cominares and Ayanda Randolph, as well as eighth grader Ashley Hernandez. Awesome job. With two books, we also have a few more eighth graders, Genesis Ramirez and Juan Gutierrez. Great job. With four books, we actually have sixth graders, Allison and Jimena Dominguez, and eighth graders, Carolina Ortega and Brianna Romero. You're already halfway to your goal. You are amazing. And our top reader of the summer with five books is seventh grader, Sofia Rivera. Awesome job, Griffins. For this school year, just like every other class, you will actually have a Google Classroom for your SMCA reading requirement. So if you logged into Google Classroom this morning, you probably saw a new invitation from me uh, for your grade level. And I need you to go ahead and identify that and then click that blue button join, just as you did for all of your other classes thus far for this school year. And in that Google Classroom, you're gonna first see an announcement in the stream that's for returning students. Returning students, we will come back to that announcement. It looks like this. We'll talk about it a little later, but I do want us to focus now on what the expectation is gonna be for this school year. From the stream, we'll actually want you to go to the classwork section of Google Classroom, which you'll notice I'm at here. And in the classwork section, you will see that all of your books are already in for the requirements. You have all eight there, as well as the duties. So you'll notice that they're already ready to go. So let's dive in at what they're gonna look like. So when you click in an assignment, you'll see two documents that are attached to each assignment. One is your reading log, which we'll review in just a second, and the other is a Google form. So let's go ahead and look at the reading log first, as this is something new this school year. Since we're in distance learning and we have reading in your everyday bill schedule, we want you to keep track of it. And so you're gonna go in starting today and look at your reading log. Now, scholars, if you already were reading a book this summer and finishing it off, for you returning students. Um, hold tight, we're gonna talk about that in just a second, but this is for every book thereafter. So especially those scholars who already read most of their books this summer, um, this will be for your new book going forward. And so you're gonna click on this reading log, filling out your demographics, your name, your grade, your homeroom, and then which book you're reading, right? And then your Lexile level of that book will also be on this form. Each and every day, Monday through Friday, you're gonna come into your Google Classroom and update this form once you have read. So today is Monday, August 31st. I'm starting a new book, so it'll be on page one. And let's say the student spent 45 minutes reading, and when they're done reading, they end at page 21. That's it, they're just keeping track in this fashion each and every day. And so let's fill up the whole week. We're going in the future here. And let's say this is what this scholar read. At the end of the week, you do need to write a brief summary about what you read. So you're just going to type it in the box right there, three to four sentences, um, going, ahead, going ahead and finishing off that week of reading. 
And so you will repeat this reading step each week. And so we have the first four weeks slated to do this. And then as you finish your book, and maybe you'll finish it before the four weeks, uh, you will select which of the following options to do as your end of book wrap up activity. And so there are nine different options here. Pick whichever style suits you in demonstrating your knowledge of the book you just read. Now, after you finish your reading log for the book, you're going to go back to your assignment and you're going to go to the second attachment to the assignment, which is a Google form. This form is going to be filled out online and it'll collect your email address. You're going to fill out some information about the book, but the main purpose of this form is to attach your book form and then schedule a time that you can meet with one of our IAs to schedule your assessment. And so this is available on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays after, after your classes. Um, and you'll select in the drop down which the week within the next week works for you. And then they will be contacting you with a Zoom to set up your virtual connection to go over your book. Okay, and so you'll know that you've submitted the form correctly when you see that your response has been recorded. And so again, you'll go to your Google Classroom and then turn in the book test request. And you're gonna do this process for all eight books, as you see here, paying close attention to the due dates. This week, you have an additional assignment so that you know what your Lexile level is for your independent reading. So when you go into your Google Classroom, in addition to the book section, you'll see a section titled Finding a Book to Read. And so your assignment starting tomorrow is actually to do the reading level diagnostic and SRI exam. So you'll click in on this assignment and get the details and you will follow those steps to be able to take the diagnostic so we can know what your new reading level is for this year. I'm sure those of you that have been with us year after year have continued to grow and so we're excited to see your new Lexile level. And because we do not have our regular physical space library on campus, we do also in that same section have a video on how to use the Libby app, which will be a way for you to access books both on a computer on your Chromebook or on an app on your phone. And so walk through that video this week as well. If you do not have a physical book that you are interested in reading already, um, it has every book that is accessible at the LA Public Library. So tons and tons of options and we want to make sure you guys know how to log in and be able to access the books there. Now that you know exactly what to do for this year, I do want to go back for our returning students. Um, those of you that still were working on books maybe with your Lexile from last school year, don't fret. If you didn't quite get to take that book test this summer, but you were reading, we do have a few weeks for you to still get credit for those on your old level. So as I mentioned earlier in this stream, there is an announcement for you there, um, but I wanna point out that the deadline to do this for your old level is Friday, September 18th. And so in this stream, you'll see that we do have the old Reading Counts book test form. So this is different than the daily log you'll be required to do going forward this school year, um, but you go ahead and fill out that reading counts form and then you're going to also fill out the Google form um, to request an appointment for your book test. And so again, this is in the stream in your Google Classroom if you're a returning student still finishing up a book on your old Lexile level. All right, now that you've learned all that there is to know about reading, I want to take a brief moment to orient you for Monday, since this Monday and the Mondays going forward are vastly different than the orientation we had this past Monday. You should have noticed that when you opened your browser on your Chromebook, we had a special page as the home page. This is our Mondays page. And the first thing you should have done was come here, which you did. Awesome. So you're going to do the Monday attendance assignment first every week. And then you're going to be able to go into Google Classroom and do any makeup work that perhaps you didn't finish during the week or any homework assignments that your teachers gave you on Thursday or Friday you can do today on Monday. Um, and those should be submitted by 2 p.m. Additionally, just as we went over, you're going to then read and you'll learn a bit more about Prodigy if you're a new student. Uh, returning students, you have access to that. And so you want to make sure that you're getting in that time as well um, each and every Monday. And then on the website, there are also optional things. So those are the four things you should be doing every Monday. 
definitely have some fun activities or opportunities for you to take advantage of. So if you scroll down in the website, you'll see all of our club options. Uh, you can click these little slides to see all of the information that those holding the clubs have put together for you to learn about. Um, and then there's office hours as well. And so if you scroll through, you'll see that fifth and sixth grade clubs have these different options from 11 to 12, and then same time frame 11 to 12 uh, options for seventh and eighth graders. And then you would take a break, have some lunch, and if you want, you can come to office hours. And so all of the grade level counselors have office hours from 1 to 2 p.m. And then our lovely IAs also have office hours from 2 to 3 p.m. So we hope you have a wonderful Monday and that we see you at some of these fun activities. Have a great day.